Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. Today I am showing you five of my favorite uses for adjustment layers. The first reason I love using adjustment layers is to fade on multiple elements. Now normally with a shot like this, I'd probably have to throw everything into a compound clip and then add a transition there. But if I wanted to add a fade to this particular shot, I could just select my adjustment layer, go up to the opacity settings, go to the end and drop it to zero. So I now have a nice fade using just the opacity on both of these elements. The next use for adjustment layers that I love is applying a LUT across my entire video. So if I select my adjustment layer, I go down to my effects and look up the custom LUT effect. We can drag that right onto the adjustment layer. Now you'll see we have the option to look up our LUT and today I'm gonna to be using Dylan John's LUTs. They are so good. They're super high quality. They always retain really solid skin tones as long as you've corrected the footage beforehand. So anyway, I asked him, I was like, hey, you wanna throw up a discount real quick? And he was down. So if you use the code the final cut bro you'll get 10 bucks off um he didn't pay me to say this or anything i just really like his product but anyway i just love being able to apply a lot really really quickly to a video if i need to make further adjustments i can do it so easily on each individual shot so i can push command six here to get some color wheels up and i can change the exposure on a shot i can do whatever i need to each individual shot while maintaining that lot on top so i can get a really solid idea of the final video effect. The third reason I love using adjustment layers for stylizing videos. So let's say I wanted to make this particular video very grainy or video-y so I could add in some noise maybe add noise, we'll drop that on there. We could add in a prism effect, so I'll add in the prism and we could drop that right on there. And then we can click and add a shape mask, grow that out to the edges here, and then we can invert that mask. So now the entire video is going to have these really cool prism edges and then it's also going to have this really nice grain going over the entire video. We could even drop on a stop motion effect or something like that, so now this video is gonna have this stop motion look to it, almost kind of looking like it's a projector or something. So I just really love using adjustment layers for quickly stylizing an entire video. The next reason I love using adjustment layers is for moving multiple shots. So I have this kind of split screen effect and I could move these around individually, but then they're gonna lose their positioning. So what I can do is select the adjustment layer and move them around all together. And next week, I'm actually gonna have a video covering how you can add in a background behind an adjustment layer. But anyway, if you wanted to scale on both of these, so you could do it just to the adjustment layer, and now both of these shots are gonna have that scale applied very, very simply. Last but not least is certainly letterboxing. So if I look up the letterbox effect, I can drag that onto my adjustment layer. I could dial it down to 235 look, just so it's extra cinematic, because the larger the black bars, the more cinematic your video is. Another really great use is for animating in letterboxes. So let's say we wanted to animate it across two different shots. We could click and add a keyframe in the top and bottom crop, move forward, and then animate these in to where we want. So we'll just do 250 or whatever. This is not the proper letterbox amount, but you get the idea. So now these are going to slowly animate in, and it's got that kind of Peter McKinnon animated letterbox look. If you enjoyed this video, you might also really like this tutorial about compound clips. Also make sure you stick around because next Friday will be a tutorial about adding a background to adjustment layers and on Monday I'm going to be creating a synthwave styled video in Apple Motion.